In this video, we want to see how to get help for Power Query functions inside of Power Query itself. Now, this awesome trick comes from our online Excel teammate, Bament at YouTube. And he actually made an awesome video here that even is set to music that shows you internally how to use Power Query's help. And he also shows you how to invoke a custom function. But all I want to do here is show you internally how to access this help. Now, I'm using Excel 2016, so my Power Query is on the Data Ribbon tab in the Get and Transform group. We go to the Get Data. From Other Sources, Blank Query. Up in the formula bar, we do have to know the name of the function. I want to search for, always type in equal sign, and then the name of the function, text.padstart. Now, Power Query functions, you have to spell everything right and have the correct text. And I can already see I cannot type pad. But now it'll work when I hit Enter. Look at that. And here's the amazing thing. It has a description, some examples, and it actually lets you try it. So I'm going to try to pad the start of a number. 43 will be our initial starting item. And I want to pad it, given that it's always five characters long with leading zeros. When I click Invoke, look at that. That is amazing. I can go try it again. Let's try, so I'm trying a text value here. The count is going to be 15, and I'm going to put a vertical bar. When I click Invoke, boom, just like that. So using the formula bar up here, from a blank query is a great way to check help and give yourself an opportunity to, to try it. Not only that, but you can actually, in the middle of a query, come up to new sources, other sources, and down to blank query, test whatever you want, and then delete the query later. All right, I'm going to discard this. Thanks to Bament at YouTube. Go check out his video. We'll see you next video.